I invite you to join with me in the prayers of the community, and at the end we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for this beautiful day and for this beautiful creation of which we are a part. Inspire us as we look at your creation and see its diversity, see its interconnectedness, see how you have made each part to work with all other parts. Let that inspire us as human community and as humans who have been given the job of stewardship of the rest of creation. Help us to be good stewards, to maintain the beauty and purity of our air and water and soil. Help us to look after all the animal and plant life in our care and help us to look after one another using the resources that we have been blessed with to ensure that all your children have enough and can live in safety. God, we pray your blessing, your strength, and your healing upon all of us. We pray in the midst of this pandemic that the resources of health care and vaccinations would be equitably distributed that all your people would be able to be protected against this pandemic, that those who are working on the front lines and in healthcare would be protected as they care for others. God, we are mindful of the riots and protests, of people crying out for justice, and we pray and cry with those who cry in the face of senseless death. We pray that the day will come soon when there is justice and respect for peoples of all colors and creeds, for peoples of all gender identities and sexualities, for people of all beliefs and creeds. Help us to see each other as your beloved children and to not let prejudices from the past influence us. Grant us your healing, God, healing and justice, that it may flow like mighty waters. Holy One, you can see into our hearts and you know what we carry there. You know the people we are concerned for, the situations that we pray for, and we trust that you are already at work in the world, bringing life and hope and peace. And so we offer to you all that is on our hearts and minds. As a community, we pray your healing for Jack and Margaret, for Pat and Evelyn and James, for Gina and Violetta, for Trish and Shelley and Lucy, for Marion and Jeannie and Marnie, for Hugo and Gary and Hope and Sarah, for Jack and Kim, Marina and Neil and Janice and Oli. Surround each one of these, your beloveds, and strengthen them in body and mind and spirit. Grant to them the highest healing that they may enjoy their lives and their bodies and their minds to their fullest. We pray also for those of us who are struggling with grief, and we pray your consolation and comfort to be with the families and friends of Peter and Hazel, Ev and Brenda, Rosemary and Jim, Iris and Deb, Joey and Lynn, Doug and Vina. Rebecca and Juliana. Comfort all of us who have experienced such loss and help us to be assured that you have us in your safe keeping in this life, in death, and in the life to come. God, we lift up all our prayers to you, including the unspoken prayers in our hearts 
trusting in your grace, your forgiveness, and your courage. We trust you with all that we are and all that we fear and all that we hope. And we pray in the name of Jesus, who taught us that you were like a loving mother hen, gathering her chicks under her wings. And we pray together the prayer that he taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, this is the time in our regular church service when we would have the offering. And so I'd just like to say thank you for all the ways that you have offered of yourself to the church, to the community, to your family and friends, and to the world in general. Every effort that you make that allows another human being to know that they are loved, to be given the things that they need, for your prayers, for your volunteering, for your work in the world, we give you thanks. If you would like to make a financial donation to our congregation, you can find ways to do that in the bulletin or on our website, and we thank you if you are able to do that as well. But know that all that you do that promotes God's love for the world is seen and noticed and appreciated. The announcements, um, this is our second to last online service before September. So for those of you who didn't know that already, I'm going to be away for four months. I have a sabbatical and other leave time that's coming. So this Sunday and next Sunday, we have a service. And after that, um, Cedar is not hosting any worship services online or in person until I return in September. And so we're asking folks to reach out and investigate the services that are on offer by our neighboring churches. Or if you're curious, uh, check out a church across Canada. And uh, some churches you need to contact and get a link for a live uh, worship service. Other churches post um, completed services on YouTube like we do. So um, I'll have uh, some suggestions for you uh, once when I'm leaving, but um, you can also look those things up yourself. We are also um, grateful that Reverend Foster Freed will be our pastoral charge supervisor, which means that he'll be available to the board while I'm away as uh, advisor and representative of the wider church. We are hiring Lynn Haley to help us with some fellowship um, events during this time. Although we won't be having worship, we're hoping to still have moments and opportunities for people to connect and still feel like we are a community that loves each other and gets to be in touch with one another. So stay tuned for that. We'll still be having Zoom fellowship hours, pr probably at a later time on Sundays. And if BC Health orders change, we'll be hosting fellowship times at the church outside um, in the good weather. So please participate in that if you can. I think that's all the announcements that I need to make. We are going to have the commissioning and benediction. And then our final hymn is This is the Day, um, the version found in More Voices, number 122. But friends, let us go from this place, trusting that we are the ones who are to bear witness to the resurrection. And we do that when we act in ways that are loving, and we do that when we act in ways that are not loving. So let us choose love. We bear witness to the resurrection of Christ when we take actions that help the earth, and when we take actions that hurt the earth. So let us help the earth. Friends, let us go from this place as positive, loving witnesses that God's love can never be defeated 
and that we will continue to act and pray and speak in ways that promote healing and health and good news. As we walk the path of faith together, let us be assured that we are never alone, but the blessings of our God, Creator, Christ, and Spirit go with us now and always. Amen. Let us sing together. This is the day and have a great week.